again, everybody. My name is Josh Flukin. And today we have an extra special box that has been donated by some of my supporters to be shown off on this channel. And that, as you probably saw from the title, is Time Spiral. Now, this set was something that I'm very excited for because I liked the original Time Spiral sets in general just because all the mechanics between the suspend as well as all the uh changes to the lore were fantastic and i've heard in this one what they've done uh is changing some of the borders basically you get to go backtrack to some of the older borders and some of the newer cards and some of those are very well thought well thought after which makes sense you know because commander likes the shiny plus sometimes players and vintage and stuff probably like some very excellent looking cards you know because vintage old cards looks like old cards but new card effects fantastic so let's start getting this unpacked and get going now, this are things we, of course, are hoping to get certain cards in the set as a whole, so we can attempt to, of course, make back value on the box and all those other economical bits. Me, I want to see the pretty pictures, see what the tokens look like, you know, the fun stuff, right? Right. So, let's get this open. Ooh, oh, I'm already excited. There's a stuffy doll in the front of that pack. And a, uh, yeah, Sliver's got reprinted in thing. Just as bad as elves. What else do we got here? Ah, Sarah Angel, look at that. Love it. So we're gonna choose each one of each of those off the top. One, two, and three. Because, uh, you know, all the fun. And Sliver will be the last one to defeat for that three count at the end. But for now, let's get the rest of these up and going. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of cards coming out. Lots of sets releasing, all those things with the lairs and the such. And there's a lot of things Magic is doing right now. We're waiting in anticipation to see how they're going to turn it around. There's a good chance that the world of Magic as we know it could very well change for the future. Maybe it's because of Time Spiral. Anyways, let's get some packs going now on this end because I have so many packs to unpack. I'm just going to go through the shinies, rares, and of course I like to comment on the tokens. That's going to happen. So... Let's start. First things first. Got a pick. Just there we go. Yes. Ooh. Hey, Simeon Spirit Guide got reprinted. Nice. If I'm not mistaken, this is actually one of those cards that was actually uh pretty pricey and used in a lot of decks because, well, red ramp from your hand, man. Yeah, let's see what else we got here. Who's in life search? Rebel Cleric, huh? Rebels got reprinted too. Ah, this, by the way, I don't know, I said I'm just gonna go to the version stuff, but I can't help it. It's one of my favorite green cards, just because it's so universally utilitized. You can search for a land to put in your hand, or return a creature from a grave in your hand, or give a creature flying, which gives it evade. All for two mana at instant speed. That's just ridiculous. I'm sorry, Evolution Charm is easily one of the best green cards. I'm sorry, it is, it is. Gives you all the bits for cheap mana at instant speed. It's great. Grudge, love Grudge. Rebels, Rift Bolt got reprinted. Huh. Rogues, Mystical Teachings, Slivers. Um, <clears throat> Conflict Detective. Uh, ooh, look at that, a hive set. Everything becomes Slivers. Right. Why would I want that? I mean, no. Hey, gain five life when it leaves, you get a three, three token. That's jank. Hey, that's so different token. Protection from white haste and flanking on a knight token. Nice. He looks pretty wicked too. I mean, look at that. That armor's pretty nice. Let's get a little closer there so you can see. It's kind of attached to his hand, though. That That's worrisome. And he's holding a staff with that shield. I'm not going to judge. But pretty sure those count as uncommons? I don't know. That, yeah, that's an uncommon. So we'll put the rares and stuff off to the side here. Rares, tokens, and eventually shinies. But for now, we'll set that pack aside. Move on to the next one. Hopefully you all have been doing a good time. Everything going on, magic's starting to become back into the reality. People being able to play face to face again is going to be flipping fantastic. What do we got here? Grape shot, <laughs> of course, because Storm needed another one. 
Uh, mutation, green seeker, nice, search for tomorrow. Assassinate! At least I get newer art. I mean, I like the old art. The old art ain't bad, but. Death swap, slivers, yeah. Sunlance, <laughs> white burn for one, right? It's not instant speed, but still, white burn for one? It's common, nice. Shivan Meteor, when you absolutely positively have to kill that thing there. <laughs> oh, Sylvan Scrying, nice! I like Scrying because it's literally a land card, not a basic land. You just get to go for a land. So, ah, some of these reprints are nice. Return to Dust is the holographic. Cool. Why not? Cloud Sprite can block only creatures with flying. That's not bad. A little bit of a fairy thing. Wings look a little meh. But it's carrying messages on a little belt. That's adorable. Anyways. Ah, so soon guys, I'm gonna have some more content coming in besides of course what's going on here. I finally now, as you can tell, have a bit of a better setup, a bit of a better camera, a bit of a better everything. I'm gonna start doing my de deck deconstructions and I have some fun ones. I'm gonna start with a couple of things I'll mention by the end of the video. I'm gonna look at him. Grave Scrambler, remember him, he's fun. We're gonna recluse, they brought some of the old Madness cards back from the original set through, nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that could be fun. Yay, consideration. Non-basic lands or mountains, Madness of the Moon. Well, fuck you, friend. Oh, that could hose all sorts of decks. Mm, especially all the dual color lands people play. Mono red middle finger. Nice. Each opponent sacrifices creature control early on. Each opponent discards a card. Ooh, that's done on the old art. Bet you that other one was too. Yeah, we're gonna set those aside just in case. <laughs> wait, wait, what? There are Land of War elves tokens? I don't play elves because I think elves are dirty and evil and uh, Legolas ruined elves for me, but um, I didn't know something that actually makes Llanowar Elf tokens. Because otherwise, this is just a full art thing. That's kind of cute. Okay, we're gonna put that away. Can get to the next pack. Can't be taken on forever, right? Right, right, right? Maybe. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, sliver. Fucking. Um, mm, try to keep your family friendly. Kathy, I love the penumbra cards. So there's, I think if I'm not mistaken, there's a penumbra for every color, and each of them breaks into a token of another color, which is cute. Strangling Soot, which is pretty much smoke season if you're in the Pacific Northwest. What else we got here? Hey, what's that? Mangara the Carondor, exile it and a permanent. I, mean, I guess that could be handy. Not a lot of ways to get him back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. alternate eternal witness. Nice. I like that, that's not terrible. Mind stab. Stab him in the mind. Shiny. Hey, spider tokens for all those people with arachnophobia. <laughs> I am not overly fond of spiders, I will admit. If they come towards me, I will engage. But generally, as I've gotten older, I'm just like, listen, I don't wanna waste the energy. If you go the other way, we'll let bygones be bygones. And you know what? Sometimes they turn around, they take a couple steps away, and then they turn back around like they wanted to start something. And at that point, I have to do something. Uh, Utopia Vow, can't attack block. Oh, force a creature to become a tappable mana thing. Honestly. That could be fun on a lot of different things. Dead and gone. I love the tool cards. Uh, prismatic lens. Mount of silence. Seals. The seals are back. That's good. The seals need to be back. Bread return. Ooh, that's a good card. That's a good card. I like it. Ooh, Miri the Cursed with a new art. See, and I like that this is definitely a different, newer border. The way they did this reminds me of the Strat Stuff Vampire Cat. Oh, she looks way more vicious than the previous art of Mary. Hero fails, Martyr falls. Ooh, gonna be using that in something, that's for sure. Other merfolk get plus one, plus one item lock. Oh, Master of the Pearl Trident. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna set that there. So I think that's what they did with these. Is the second to last pack is alternate arts, because so far most of them have been. Gobby token, though honestly, that looks more like a skeleton token than a goblet token. Maybe a zombie. Just saying, you might need a sandwich. Anyways, 
back to the pegs. Yes, set the feet. Accept it. Just let me. There we go. More slivers. Just. Hey, some inspire good. Yep, yep, yep. Mana tithe. White counter spell. I love it. Cat rebel. Nice. Return to dust. Always good. Harmonic sliver, I guess. Hey, 5-5 five, five dinosaur. Only basic lands can pay for it, but that's nice. What is this? Sudden spoiling. Specifically, target creature you lose all abilities. Base power zero two. Yeah, it's not horrible. What's this? Nature's claim. Nice. I like the art on that too. Nature definitely claiming that back. Oh, look at that. Wasteland soldier. I mean, I think that's what most of these are. Maybe it's just because of the time spiral and the soldiers lost in time, but all this looks like wasteland junk. I mean, he is obviously wearing scrap armor from Seven Days to Die. I mean, isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah, he is. Anyways. Just no. Okay, so the Serpent, Skirk Shaman, nice. A mirror. Love the mirror. And I know, mirror, but mirror. Uh, Bayloth, Nether Tithe, Chromatic Star. Oh, kind of reverses some of the other ones out there. Necrotic Sliver, destroy target permanent by sacrificing a permanent. Nice. Uh, that's honestly just kind of good in anything, though, because then he just becomes a three sack a permanent, destroy a permanent. Huh. Anyways, what was this? Life and limb. All forests and all sapperlings are forests and sapperlings. Oh. Huh. That's pretty jank-tastic, isn't it? I have several decks I want to run that in. Okay. Nice. Hey, Sorcerer's Spyglass. I like that art for it, though. I do like that with that border. The old border really does work really well for some of these older cards, or some of these newer cards. And the battlefield, look at opponent's hand, then choose any card name after the source. Yeah, I like that. And Griffin token. Yeah, they just look like it's, uh... No, he just looks like a griffin. I mean, the, the terrain looks a little bit different, but compared to the other tokens, it's not nearly as, uh, destroyed and wrecked as normal. Come on. And pulled too many shinies. Very disappointing. Ah, what do we got here? 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 Human Rebel Knight loved flanking. Faceless Devourer didn't love that. Slivers never love that. Woo! Pact of Negation! Nice! Counter target spell at the beginning of your upkeep. You pay three blue blue, and if you don't, you lose the game. Most of the time, this is one of those, like, trick cards. The blue player has all his mana tapped. You're safe. No. No, he's playing blue. He's playing the color of nope. You are never safe. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Alicia who smiles at death. When Alicia smiles at death, tax should be paid two, and if you do, return target creature power two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped and attacking. I actually see, I really do like what they did with the times prior on the older arts. I actually would love to see, and a lot of people would disagree with me on this, and that is perfectly fine, when they tried to redo the arts with the mana symbols on the side. They did a lot of really nifty cards when they were doing that, including like the, the Dryad Arbor and the such. Um, seeing stuff like that again, even for a set, would be kind of nifty, just like what they're doing here. The alternative arts are like older models, and it just makes it look cool. I mean, honestly, how many wouldn't run that as a commander instead of the other leashes, just because that border looks wicked. Anyways, we'll set that aside. Yeah, another cloud sprite. What else we got here? More packs! Ha <laughs> ha! Just, just accept. There we go. Sometimes you have to beat them a little bit. Anyways, what do we got here? Doot, 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 doot. Love that. Vanishing. Terramorphic Expanse. Cool, because I needed more of those. But I guess... Ah, sudden death. <laughs> That would suck. And well, I got an itch on my back. And then I'm dead. <laughs> Cloud key. And it was a battlefield. Artifact creature and chamber sorcery. And spells you cast. Cost one list to cast. Nice. Reduction of spells is good in a lot of colors like that. Ah, uh, here's another one of those. Tassiker, the Golden Fang. You can delve him away. Since he's a five and a black, delving is nice. You get to mill cards. Return a non-land permanent opponent's choice from your graveyard to your hand. Nice. 
Tassiger. There's some good stuff there. And that alternate border, it's just pretty. It does really look good on some of these cards, I must say. Must have done like a vote or something. Ooh, kind of, sh kind of shiny. What is this? Uh, hmm. I guess for a one drop, morph of one. Especially with all the time crap nowadays. That's not as horrible as it could have been. Hmm, sapling. One, one green, running through a tree. Simple, sporadic, nice. Let's get down to the next one. Stuffy doll, gotta be careful. Can't slap this one or it'll do damage to me. <laughs> Terrible joke, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, empty the Warrens, of course. Slavers. Um, also, I haven't ran into the elves. Yeah, I used to actually run a deck with the flash return cards. Very fun. Very fun to be able to pop down a card. Even a commander run Dust Elemental. That's fun for a mono white deck when they're like, I'm gonna wipe your field. I'm gonna recover three of my permanents. Have fun. <laughs> you can have the Dust Elemental, but you can't have these three powerhouses. That's not powerhouse. That's just an evil sliver. Enjoy creatures. Nice. Shivan Sand Mage. And as a battlefield, choose one. Time counters. Nice. Hey! Cobalt of Care Keep, especially with that new Cobalt that came out. Reprinting this was a good idea. Getting more of them out there. I mean, they're not super expensive. It's just a Cobalt of Care Keep. But still, it's a Cobalt of Care Keep. Ooh, Vanquisher's Banner. You know, it's weird. The artifacts that have so much flavor text just look more natural with the old because all the old artifacts from the elder, older sets had so much flavor text on them. Ability text, not flavor text. Love Vanquisher's Banner, by the way. It is a fantastic card. Cobalt's a Cure Keep, also fun because a 0 1 Cobalt generating land with no real downside for two mana and a legendary to boot is just good. Uh, we're gonna flip that over there and more land and more elves. God, what is with these elves? What's all this elf support? Where's my Luchador support? <laughs> Need more Luchador cards. Uh, let's see what we got here. Logic Knot, a Delve Counterspell. Yeah, that's fantastic. Search for Tomorrow. Ooh, that's a new art on Search for Tomorrow. Nice. I won't recognize all the new arts, forewarning, only ones that I usually run. And Search for Tomorrow is one of them. One Suspend for two, and they get you flip a land untapped to the field. And it's any land, right? No, basic land. That's still good, though, untapped. Tendrils of Corruption. Mitocologist. Spore counters for green sapperlings. Wow, really? Nice. Green Sapperlings on a white card. If it was only a cleric. Anyways. Arcblade. Ah, oh, This. This jank. So good. Living End. Suspends three turns for four. And it's literally living death. If y'all haven't lived that one, look that up. You pretty much take all the creatures on the field, you exile them. They take all the creatures in that controller's graveyard, you put them on the field. And you take all the exiled creatures, you put them in the graveyard. Yeah, it just literally flips the fields, which for some decks, that could wreck them. That could wreck them good. I like that. I like that a lot. Go in there. Oh, uh, well, we'll make a mythic pile here at the bottom. Vampire Hex Mage. Now this card, this card with the alternate art does look pretty pretty. I mean, when the blood hunt is lost the thrill, she looked for a less tangible means of domination. Legitimately though, this, this is played in a lot of decks for a reason. I mean, Dark Depths, it insta-kills Planeswalkers. It's good. It's just a good card. You can't argue with it. And the border, alternate border just kind of fits the original art better. Nice. Ah! Yep, nice. I said it. Anyways, Ape Token. And considering all the Godzilla vs. Kong stuff going on right now, Ape Token. No. You have been banished. You have been defeated. You're not allowed to get back into the Royal Rumble ring. Yay, Cole Stoker. Uh, Rule of Lightning, Top Library, Converted Mana Cost. Nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got some good stuff going on here. Shades, so much suspension stuff. I like suspension. Vanishing has always been a weird one for me, but I get it, but that's what that recovery deck is for, recovering all those vanished cards before they vanish. What is this, for one? Name of your upkeep, destroy. The creature with the least power. Can't be regenerated. If two creatures are tied, you choose. When there are no creatures, bury it. Holy shit. So all I have to do is have an indestructible creature and this just stays out forever. For one mana. 
Dang. I like it. Hey, Farseek. See, they did a good job on this. I will credit them, R&D, with, uh, with these alternate arts. Seriously. They really do fit the original arts nicely. How truly vast city must be that I have traveled so far and seen so much, yet never once found the place where the building fail. Buildings fail. Right? More elves. How dare they. Just, just, yeah. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Deadly grub. Mm-hmm, yep, no, Terramorphic pants. yep, no, yep, yep, Permatic lens, yep, 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 yep. Slivers. Just, uh, I wonder if they did a reprint of all the fungus in this one. That'd be pretty good, because it's actually been a while since we had fungus, and they were in the original setup. It's kind of nifty. I like being able to use the fungus to get sapling tokens, plus there's a black green fungus, it's fantastic. Okay, pack to the Titan, create a 4-4 giant creature, and then pay five or die. Okay then. With all that giant support that just came out though, I can imagine that's pretty good. Yeah, I would use that. I would probably going to use that. Hey, cranial plating. Technically, cranial plating is an older card, but it was on the more stone gray, not the stone brown old style, which actually fits better because the whole freaking thing is the stone brown color. Man, you guys got that right. Plus, then you can get rid of the equip text at the bottom of the dang card because everybody at this point should know what equip does. And just in case you don't, one mana to equip to a creature at sorcery speed. Sorcery speed is important, by the way. It's creatures on your field. And look at that Scully Goblin. And I'm gonna set that aside. Let's get to the next pack. Kavu! Ooh. Okay. Deet. 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 Ah, hey, this is the guy I was talking about with the fungus. Because uh, he's black green because of the things for commander. Uh, each fungus gets plus one, plus one for each spore counter, and you can exile fungus, put a spore counter, all your fungus. So your fungus you can just accumulate, and then if they're going to die, just sack all the tokens off to get a bunch of uh, sapperlings. And then eventually you just get more fungus. It's a fun idea, and honestly, I haven't messed with the deck myself, but with that Strixhaven school is coming out, maybe... Ooh, Contagion Clasp! Also really good with this alternate uh, borderlines. Proliferate, and it gives minus one counters. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Another Griffin token. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that one came off actually rather easy. Didn't even put up a fight. Probably a jobber. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Thrill of Hunt. Flashback. Manatid. Thick skin, you may zero the echo casts. You know, it's weird. I would like to use this more often, but most of the stuff that has echo is so-so. There's some goblin stuff that's not bad with echo. I'll give it that. Ooh, nice. A chroma angel of fury. Can't be countered. Flying trample protection from white and blue. The stuff that usually hoses your cards, besides black and green. And gets plus one, plus zero for one red mana, so it gets fire breathing. And you can morph it. Nice. I can agree with that. I can get behind that. Oh, we got a shiny thing. Prized amalgam. Another creature on the battlefield in control of the graveyard. Cast from your graveyard. Prized amalgam to the battlefield. Tap to the beginning of the next 10 step. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And what's really cool, and some may not notice it, because I don't always notice on the newer cards so much, that symbol in the corner means it's a graveyard-based effect, which is bloody brilliant. And they need to do more things like that. Now, I did see a hint of something coming up, and certain of these I do need to take proper care of, and I will. So we got that. That's night. Look at that prettiness right there. God, see, it almost feels like they use the old... I have to look into that. I wonder if they use the old, uh, old shine on that as well, because look at that. That's nice. Itali Primal Storm in the old works, especially shiny. It just works. I will have to uh, put you in a proper case, sir, just in case. Because I do not know off the top of my head 
what is and not worth a price. I know Atali was worth a little bit at least, so the alternative art in holographic is probably worth a little bit more because these will be definitively short printed. And anybody who's running an Atali commander who doesn't want to run this, come on. Look at that border. It shines all over the place. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, let's see what else we can get in here. Yep. Uh huh. You don't say. Okay. Hey, reality acid. That must suck. Elves with death touch. Hey! Thalids and slivers. More slivers. Don't want no slivers. Tafari, Mage of Zalafar. See, they did, they did a good job. This border actually works really well on Tafari. Ah, uh, legendary creature, human wizard, flash. Creatures you uh, own that aren't on the battlefield have flash, and each opponent can cast spells only anytime they can cast a sorcery. Hoses a lot of people on a lot of things. Gotta agree with that one. Banishing light, huh? And there's the battlefield exile target, non land permanent controls until it leaves. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, that's another pretty. Pact of negation. Holographic, eh? Yeah, that's a good one. Ape token. Like I said, some of these I'm gonna have to get some specialness for because the person, my subscribers that donate, have that opportunity to potentially win some fun stuff. And some of them you want to keep mint. Pretty sure Pact Negation is worth a little bit, and an alternative art version with that holographic is probably worth a bit more. At least that's what I've heard. Down the grapevine, or the Trosker vine, depending uh, world tree wise. Let's get that going. Okay. Ooh. Hey, storage lands. I remember these. These are always fun. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Venser. Yeah, see, I like the borders. Uh, Venser turns the battlefield, return target spell, or permission. <laughs> so it's like a, a counter of things without actually countering the things. And it flashes. That's not bad. I like that. I can get behind that. Anger of the gods. Three damage to each creature. Each creature don't damage they would die. Exile it. And there's Happerling token to boot. No! See a lot of commander playables in here. <laughs> I'm just joking. Everything's playable in commander. Well, almost everything. Eventually, we're hoping, especially with this next set coming out, that they make a, a wish pile of sorts. Because there's plenty of good cards you can't run because they wish things out in lesson wise, right? Mogwar Marshal. Uh, and so it'd be nice for Commander to have an official ruling on that. Usually it's like, play with runes, but we're not even gonna get into the, the levels of, hey, Sarah Avenger! You can't cast the spell during your first, second, or third turn, but it's got a flying vigilance for a three, three at two mana. Always good. Just flat always good. That's just pure value for two mana. Even though you can't cast till at least third turn, that doesn't matter. You're not gonna have the mana till usually second turn anyways, unless you're playing Commander. And in this case, it's just, it's worth it. It's good stuff. Yum. Ooh, Lingering Souls. Create two spirits with flying and a flashback. Love the little tombstone for flashbacks and stuff. Graveyard effects, man. That was a reminder text that honestly, I loved it with the with these borders. And I, if I'm not mistaken, they eventually got rid of it. Um, I'm pretty sure they got rid of it because I, I don't, I wouldn't, I would think I would remember it. Maybe. Joyous time bug in a shiny. It's one of those things that if you run a suspend deck, you love stuff like that. You know, if you run a suspend deck. There's some good suspend cards. I'm actually wondering if we're gonna pull some in here. Partic Dragon, that Leviathan. It's some janky stuff. Some janky stuff. Oh, so much rage. Anyways. Another sliver, cause why? Edge of now, some of you might be like, what do you have against elves and slivers? Well, first of all, they're elves and slivers. They don't have the greatest of track records. Second of all, Sanger Nosferatu. Flying vampire, not bad. Exile, create a one-two bat. You could sacrifice the bat to return. <laughs> so he turns into a bat and then returns himself. So he's effectively a cycling deal. That's not bad. Hey, Bojoku Bug! That definitely needed a reprint. That's a commander staple. Uh, and an exile and a catastrophe. Yeah. Hey, look at that, a kobold! Because care keep, you know? Look at him with his tiny sword. He thinks he's intimidating. He doesn't even have any power. The sword must be made of butter. <laughs> Anyways. Yep. 
Easy peasy. Time to squeezy. Anyways. Do 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 Ooh, Ursus Factory. Love lands that create tokens for almost nothing. Don't love that. Don't love that either. Hey, Lotus Bloom, nice. I like Lotus Bloom. So spend three for zero, and you can sack it to make three mana. Which is just fantastic. And it does have zero cost, so some of those new things, wreck it. Ooh, love that. Boop. Mortify, which is another one of those cards because the art, it looks like it was older, but it wasn't. It was not an older card. Love it. Eyes filled with tears, the blood of the very soul, the whole rung inside, dripping down. See, and then they put the flavor text on the bottom that a lot of these cards don't have. I used to remember, what is it? If I'm not mistaken, a lot of the older sets, almost all of them either had blank slates, and uh, then eventually they got to like all of them being part of a story, which was fantastic. And they just need more stuff like that. It's beautiful. Sapperling. Boop. Go back to where you came. Eh. What do we got here? What do we got here? Another Kavu? Another seal? I haven't seen the other seals yet. That's kind of disappointing. Rough and tumble. Hey! See? I like that. Draw new Lich Lord. If damage will be dealt to him, you sacrifice how many permanents, and the instant sorcery from graveyard gains flashback. Damage being dealt to him and sacking permanents would suck, though, because Burn would be like, oh, I'm going lightning bolt that. I'm going to shock that. I'm going to last out of the flame lash. <laughs> Have fun with 10 damage. Ooh. That's pretty. Eh, that's okay. <laughs> Token's okay. See, another one of those ones you really wanted to be printed with this particular border because his story went back to when the cards were in this original border. Yagmoth the Thran Physician. I think, if non holographic, he's actually still worth a bit of a penny. We're gonna just put him here. That'll be fine. And Dread right, Lord. Bam. Never been fond of the stuff that makes me sacrifice stuff when they take damage. Just, it's just insane, you know? Just insane. You going off the edge. There you go. What do we got here? Thanks, you know, the Bound of Science can't take a block. Why would I? Oh, because it's a rebel aura. <laughs> Why would I run this over pacifism that's printed in every set ever? Uh, Clockwork Hydras are fun. Crows and Grips are an absolute staple. Drug card, discarded hard with Defender. Not bad. Ooh, what's this? One black mana instant speed split second, which means it is definitive. Choose target card in a graveyard other than a basic land. Search target its owner's library hand and for all the cards of the same name. Yeah, say, you know why they have to, now fun fact, you know why they have to put stuff like besides basic land cards? Because you have ways to turn your opponent's lands into creatures and then for one mana, wipe their shit out of existence. Goodbye, mono player the player. It's good that you tried. <sighs> The only problem with stuff like this is because they do stuff like that, unless they're running a Rats deck or a Partitioner's deck, you ain't getting multiple copies, bruv. It's just not worth it. Which makes this really only playable in the other formats, which is fine. You know, I play the Commander. Still. Ooh, I like that. True Name Nemesis. Protection from Player. Love it. I have the regular art of this one, too, but I gotta admit... This one is uh, is better. I do like that. The blue, and this is what a lot of those merfolks you see that were pretty decent, you see in a lot of decks was around. It's good stuff right there. Okay. Assembly worker token. It looks like it's literally made of parts of everything. So we're going to work with that, I guess. Let's see what else we got here. Oh. So far, having some pretty fantastic pulls, if I do say it myself. Not epic, because I know a few things that we want to pull, that the person who donated this wanted to pull. We're going to see if we can get them. Joy of the Gitu, Excel the Nylon Carter Fan, put Time Counter. So yeah, she's pretty much like the Time Counter Commander, which is okay, because some of the beefier stuff is in, in blue and red for this. Exile Tiger Kitchen Pump Patrol. Oh! Monarch. Love Monarch. Love that. Don't love that. Tokens aren't so good in this set. Art's a little off. That's pretty. That could be fun. Especially when you have things like Omniscience. Which I never run. Now some people may think, well, but why? It's so good. It's because it's too good. Giving free play from hand, and if they can't shut it down, it's over. 
Brute Force, I love me some beefy chunk decks. Makes all the chunk. Nothing but the chunk. Hate the slivers. Nightshade Assassin is fun. Hey, look at that. A Sliversmith discard to make slivers. Man, Sliver's got a reprint buff. Dell for a 5 5 demon that flies. Yeah, I can see how that could be all sorts of jank. Hey, Lava Spike! It's an arcane. I love that too. I miss the fact that we did not get more arcane stuff. Can I get a more Kamigawa reprint for you? Can I please get some more arcanes and splices? <sighs> Meh. Lava Spike. Some Kami attack during the war. Okay, they kept the, the other attacks were more a bit straightforward. Yeah. Good stuff. Like that. At least they reprinted something from that cycle in this set. It's fantastic. Y'all know you want to go back to Kamigawa. Don't lie to me. They had some fun stuff there, okay? I have a Samurai Commander deck, and I would like more cards for it. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. Do, 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 do. Gem Hide Sliver. Yeah, I don't care. I'm still a sliver. Hmm. No, no. Hey, what's this? Angel of Salvation. Flash, Convoke. You could tap creatures to help pay for its own cost. It's a 5-5 flyer when it enters the battlefield. Next five damage will be dealt this turn to any number of target creatures. <gasps> Divide as you choose. Oh, you get to choose when the next five damage goes. Oh, okay. That's not bad, I guess. Oh, one less to cast. Has Prowess. Reveal under the battlefield this card in your hand, draw three cards. That is actually fantastically good. The art's nice and it does fit the border. Yeah, that can go die in a pit fire for all I care. Anyways, that's nice. Uh, so many more packs that I'm used to opening, but that is okay because we're gonna rumble through. I mean, the Royal Rumble has 30 plus participants. So you see, I can survive this. I got this, I got this. Primal Force Mage. Another creature on the battlefield. That creature gets plus three, plus three. That's some jank you can pull with that, let me tell you. Calciderm. Always fun. A 5-5 five, five Shroud of Vanishing. Yup. What's this? Eric's daughter. When target creature put in a graveyard, return to the battlefield. Oh, nice. So it sacrifices itself. So somebody else can come back. She strode from the deep snow to dusty waste. From the crease of light behind her, a voice rang hollow. Safi, wait for me. Oh! Oh! Erickson! Ah! <laughs> ah! Is that him in the background? The guy who's like, we're gonna have a great day, Safi. Ah! <laughs> he beats himself with creatures. That's fantastic! That's wonderful. I love that. So then you would have to run white, red, green to run them both. Well, gotta be making me a Naya deck soon so I can run both of those guys. They're gonna be the comedy relief in my WWE deck. Ooh, Monastery Swift. Oh. Wow. Sorry, I'll get to that in a second. Monastery Swift Spear is actually really good. One haste, one two prowess, super fantastical. That, however, is Tolarian West. That is a transmute land, which is Awesome. I loves me some transmute lands. The border's kind of nifty, but I just love the fact that that's transmute land. And a holographic one of that, so we're gonna take that and do that, because that's probably worth something, because usually any land that does anything worth anything, you know, like searching for zero-cost artifacts, it's worth something. Token assembly worker. We've seen pretty much all the tokens we're gonna see here. It's not like we're gonna get any rare tokens or legendary tokens from this, and that's fine. One day, one day we'll have a legendary token set. That'd be bloody amazing, having like uh, Merit Lage connected to a bunch of other like legendary things. Not fucking Eldrazi, okay? Merit Lage, okay? Ooh, ah, look at that. I see I like some of the charms here. Plus two, minus one, target player discards a card with blue? Really? Huh, okay. And Island Walk is always fun because fucking everybody runs blue. Anyways, coming star. Da, 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 da. Oh, yes! Look at that! Urborg, Tomb of Yagmoth. I was actually looking for one of these. I hadn't had one yet. I'm gonna go pick one up. But now, I can just pick this one up. 
Each land is a swamp in addition to just other types. Legendary land. Fantastic. Uborg's still worth a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, the great version of Asphodel. This is a pretty good one, too. Uh, when I enter the battlefield, each one loses X lies for your X devotion to black, and you gain life equal to the life lost. It is a Zavembi, or a zombie. And it, of course, uh, it's pretty handy. Five is a little high, but you get a lot of stuff off of it. Meh. Sapperling. Nice. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? That nice? I had a comment. Somebody was like, stop saying nice. Never. It's fantastic the number of cards we're going to hear that are actually bloody brilliant. Pungify. Ah, no more Silver Skies Anthem. But why, Green? Why do you have to do what White does? The, the answer is you don't. But you keep doing it. Eh, another Tranu, that's sad. Hey, Alternate Pride Mate. Nice. Pride Mate's fun. Whenever you gain life, get one more counter. It's very nice. No. Anyways. Getting down to the last two packs here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming along this journey with me as we go through all this fantasticness. Getting some goods. Getting sense. Getting some more goods. Oh, got to sneeze. <coughs> 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 Much better. Jaya Balor the Task Mage. Discard a card. Destroy target. Blue permanent. Ooh. Blue permanent hate, huh? Discard a card. Three damage to any target. Damage dealt this way. Can't be regenerated this turn. Okay. Discard a card. Six damage to each creature and each player. That kills yourself, but okay. Nice. Nice. I do like this borders they're doing with these. Nice. Hey, Hedron Archive got a print on that border. Love it. Love it a lot. Commander's table. Ooh, we did miss a token. Jesus, we missed a token. 6-1? What the hell is creating a 6-1? With Shroud! It's gonna die, but it's gonna take everything with it. Okay, anyways. No. And of course, it looks like a little flippin' parasitic spawn from Satan. Okay. Logic not. Do, 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 Storage land, storage land. This is. Hey, we got another pact. Slaughter pact. Destroy target non black creature and pay three or lose the game. Okay, super simple. Hey, Restoration Angel. End of battlefield. Make a target non angel creature control and then return to the battlefield under control, which can be super handy, actually. Look at that. Another Eldrazi insect. Um, set that aside. And go to the next pack. Next pack. Next pack. Next pack. Awesome pack. All the packs. Nothing but the packs, so help me pack. <laughs> what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? Molten Rain. I like that. I like that a lot. I passed by the rare. Uh, reiterate. Buy back a three and copy targets and sorcery. You know, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, considering buyback is an additional cost. I wonder if that adds the converted. And of course, Molten Rain destroy land because that's needed. If land was non basic, it does two damage to land's controller to punish them for using non basics. Holographic Frozen Grip. Spider token. Boop. No gents and ladies and all the colorful rainbow in between. We're getting there, folks. Another storage land. Ooh, Pendle Haven. One more creatures. Hey, look at that. Crovex, the ascended hero. Yup. And some fun stuff. Some fun stuff there. I run him in a mono white deck. Fantastical. Anyways, moving over to <laughs> nice Grenzo Dungeon Warden. He's fun. He's an off the bottom of the deck play because he enters with uh, X one one counters, and you can put the bottom card into um, bottom card your library in your graveyard. Uh, if it's a creature card with power less than or equal to Grenzo's power, you put it on the battlefield. Bloody fantastic! It is the weirdest deck to run a like bottom deck rearrangement. Because all those cards are like, oh, you put you search these and then you put these on the bottom in any order. He makes it worth it. Though blue does that a lot too. I wonder why black red. Yeah, look at that other cobalt thinking he can do things that he can't, because he's not a legendary 001 with trample for strike and haste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cold Mark War Marshall. Good, 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 good. Paradise plume. Nice. Ooh, what's this? Five hundred trick hair. Uh, when you put in the graveyard, you may search for a planes card. Put in the <laughs> That's hilarious. So if it dies, you still get a planes card off of it. 
and it's a Plains card, so it could be a dual land or a tri land. Not bad. Hey, look at that! Treasure Cruise! This, I've heard, gets lots of play because, well, you delve off for three cards, so in mono blue, if you don't have a lot of recovery or any sort of blue, you just ditch seven cards in your graveyard for a ancient. I mean, nothing wrong with that. Now, that's one damage I've taken. But we are at one of those last packs that we have here, because we have three of them. Lobo-esque. Anyways. Utopian. Oh yeah, that guy's pretty nice. I like him. Sapperlings add mana. Eh, hey, whatever place. Ooh. That's a fun one. Uh... Oh yeah, cycling support. That's not bad, I guess. I mean, it works kind of because he's artifact golem, but uh, there's better cards they could have put in there. Now, I will admit, having gone through all these packs so far, there are definitely a lot more other choices that could have gone in here that they didn't mess with, and maybe they should have. That's just me. Off the top of my head, no, I cannot think of any, but still, not the point. Two is the point that we're getting to the end. Almost the fantastic almost going down one way or another. It's gonna be beautiful. No more slivers, no more elves. Next set, have less of them. Zombie wizard. Ha! Huh. One day I'll play a grave hate deck. One day. A swarm yard regenerate. Okay, that's not terrible. Soldier token. Exclusive Firecraft. Four damage in target. If there are two or more instant sorceries, that can't be countered. Yeah, it's not horrible for a burn card for three. And another token there. Let's stack that there. And ladies and gentlemen, we're at three. And we're getting down to the last pack of this fantastical box. And I think I tipped the camera just a tad more than I was meaning to. Apologize for that. Got a little excited. Okay. Let's see. Out of the Holy Nimbus. Uh, creatures with no abilities get plus two, plus two. <sighs> eh. I mean, maybe, the, I mean, tokens don't have abilities generally. Some of the tokens here did. Mages forsake their scrolls and libraries and learn to feed to the ancient trees and sacred stones. You know, because I've seen some of the Strixhaven stuff, there is a bear commander coming out that is designed for this type of junk. But again, green, you're doing what white does. Anyways. Secret plans, face down creatures get plus zero, plus one. Whenever a permanent control is turned face up, draw a card. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's the cap off for that, and a gobby token. Ah, uh, that was a hard fought battle. These fingers are tired, but we came through. Tokens. Some of these shinies have some good stuff in them, though. Clarion West. Pact of Negation. And Atali. Not bad, not bad, I must say. Now, we'll just go over quick with the alternate arts. All the rare ones went up there, and these. Just got some tasties in there. Not sure why he says it's uncommon. I count him as a rare. And then we'll get down to what else we pulled out of the packs. Now, I'm probably very wrong, but these feel like they're probably worth something because they're both rare and shiny. But besides that, we've got a decent spread here. A lot of cards. Probably not going to be able to see them all. Because, well, it was a box full of cards. But. Nope. Regular pack negation, too. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Well, I'd say that was a pretty good set of a pull. I felt good with that. And I think that was good. So. 
This set of things will tie up today by saying, please, as with all videos, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you would like to see. It's always a plus. I will be shortly uploading some videos deconstructing some of my commander decks as the primary pro format I play. I've also considered streaming Magic Online, but it's one of those things where I need to know if more people want me to do stuff like that. Probably will, because I got a feeling people might. We will see, because I run stupid stuff. Anyways, what we got going here is another fantastical day where we championed over that time spiral deck, and we're still holding strong. So, I thank all of you for watching here today. My name again is Josh Flukan, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.